He is right now speaking. Uh, a lot going on with his campaign. Let's listen in. And uh, appreciate your putting a bright smile on it. Um, listen, it's up to the voters. It is up to the people of Indiana. It is up to the men of this state. I will say this. This morning, Donald Trump went on national television and attacked my father. Donald Trump alleges that my dad was involved in assassinating JFK. Now, let's be clear. This is nuts. This is not a reasonable position. This is just kooky. And while I'm at it, I guess I should go ahead and admit, yes, my dad killed JFK. He is secretly Elvis and, J and Jimmy Hoffa is buried in his backyard. You know, Donald's source for this is the National Enquirer. The National Enquirer is tabloid trash, but it's run by his good friend, David Pecker, the CEO, who's endorsed Donald Trump. And so the National Enquirer has become his hit piece that he uses to smear anybody and everybody. And this is not the first time Donald Trump has used David Pecker's National Enquirer to go after my family. It was also the National Enquirer that went after my wife, Heidi, that just spread lies, blatant lies. But I guess Donald was dismayed because it was a couple of weeks ago the Enquirer wrote this idiotic story about JFK. And Donald was dismayed that, that the folks in the media weren't repeating this latest idiocy, so he figured he'd have to do it himself. He'd have to go on national television and accuse my dad of that. Listen, my father has been my hero my whole life. My dad was imprisoned and tortured in Cuba, and when he came to America, he had nothing. He had $100 in his underwear. He washed dishes making 50 cents an hour. You know, he's exactly the kind of person Donald Trump looks down on. I'm going to do something I haven't done for the entire campaign. For those of y'all who have traveled with me all across the country, I'm going to tell you what I really think. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth. And in a pattern that I think is straight out of a psychology textbook, his response is to accuse everybody else of lying. He accuses everybody on that debate stage of lying. And it's simply a mindless yell. Whatever he does, he accuses everyone else of doing. The man ca cannot tell the truth, but he combines it with being a narcissist. A narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. Donald Trump is such a narcissist that Barack Obama looks at him and goes, dude, what's your problem? Everything in Donald's world is about Donald. And he combines being a pathological liar. And I say pathological because I actually think Donald, if you hooked him up to a lie detector test, he could say one thing in the morning, one thing at noon, and one thing in the evening, all contradictory, and he passed the lie detector test each time. Whatever lie he's telling, at that minute, he believes it. But the man is utterly amoral. Let, let, let me finish this, please. The man is utterly amoral. It, morality does not exist for him. It's why he went after Heidi directly and smeared my wife, attacked her. Apparently, she's not pretty enough for Donald Trump. I may be biased, but I think if he's making that allegation, he's also legally blind. But Donald is a bully. In visited with fifth graders. Every one of us knew bullies in elementary school. Bullies don't come from strength. Bullies come from weakness. Bullies come from a deep yawning cavern of insecurity. There is a reason Donald builds giant buildings and puts his name on them everywhere he goes. And I will say, there are millions of people in this country who are angry. They're angry at Washington. They're angry at politicians who've lied to them. I understand that anger. I share that anger. And Donald is cynically exploiting that anger. And he is lying to his supporters.
Donald will betray his supporters on every issue. If you care about immigration, Donald is laughing at you. And he's telling the money to elites. He doesn't believe what he's saying. He's not going to build a wall. That's what he told the New York Times. He will betray you on every issue across the board. And his strategy of being a bully, in particular, is directed at women. Donald has a real problem with women. People who are insecure, people who are insecure about who they are, Donald is terrified by strong women. He lashes out at them. Remember, this is the same Donald Trump who last week here in Indiana proudly touted the endorsement from Mike Tyson. A convicted rapist who served three years in prison here in Indiana for raping a 17-year-old girl. And in Donald's world, he said Mike Tyson was a tough guy. I don't think rapists are tough guys. I spent a lot of years in law enforcement dealing with rapists. Rapists are weak, they are cowards, and they're bullies. And anyone that thinks they're a tough guy, that reveals everything. Donald Trump's character. Donald Trump said Bill Clinton was targeted by unattractive women. You know what? I've been blessed to be surrounded by strong women my entire life. Today is voting day here in Indiana. The President of the United States has a bully pulpit unlike anybody else. The President of the United States affects our culture. I ask the people of Indiana, think about the next five years if this man were to become president. Think about the next five years, the boasting, the pathological lying, the picking up the National Enquirer and accusing people of killing JFK, the bullying. Think about your kids coming back and emulating this. For people in Indiana who long for a day when we were nice to each other, when we treated people with respect, when we didn't engage in sleaze and lies, and I would know one of the lies he engages in, listen, Donald Trump is a serial philanderer, and he boasts about it. This is not a secret. He's proud of being a serial philanderer. I want everyone to think about your teenage kids. The President of the United States talks about how great it is to commit adultery, how proud he is describes his battles with venereal disease as his own personal Vietnam. That's a quote, by the way, on the Howard Stern show. Do you want to spend the next five years with your kids bragging about infidelity? Now, what does he do? He does the same projection, just like a pathological liar. He accuses of lying. Even though he boasts about his infidelity, he plants in David Pecker's National Enquirer a lie about me and my family, attacking my family. He accuses others of doing what he is doing. I'll tell you, as the father of two young girls, the idea of our daughters coming home and repeating any word that man says horrifies me. That is not who America is. And I would say to the Hoosier State, the entire country is depending on you. 